Okay. Are you all a bit of a apology? As I get me on in early on this video. So, got a bit carried away when playing on this and I've gone a little bit further than I meant to so I apologise but I will get you up to speed now right this second transfers not a lot we've brought in on loan Matthew Delve from Burnley he's done very well he's got four goals for us so far this season decent little player for he's played six times in the championship last season but he's had a good season for us so far Carl Martin I have brought in from he was at Macclesfield uh, oh and Northwich as well but he was at Macclesfield um, not too long ago so um, I brought him in and Luke Daly has joined us brilliant he's come and joined us at Buxton now which is good after his release from Lincoln uh, Tims, McConville, Horner, Doyle and it says Umbar was released but he wasn't because he kind of he was because his contract ran out but he was in the middle of accepting one so he was released one day and rejoined the next sort of thing so, but he wasn't released, he went on to a non-contract, I think, but that's a bit weird, but anyway. Fixtures-wise, as you can see, we are doing well. We are doing uh, very well. So the opening day, we won 4-1 away at Tamworth to exact revenge for the playoff final. Uh, the playoff defeat, sorry, not playoff final, it wasn't the final, that was a lie. <laughs> We then beat Histon 4-2 at home uh, before beating Kettering 1-0 away. We then drew 1-0 with Harrogate, my former club. Leek, we beat 2-0. Uh, we drew 1-1 with Worcestershire and 1-1 with Merthyr Tidfil. What a beautiful bunch of teams they were they used to play against them a lot on the old Premier Manager games 4-1 uh, against Corbo a 1-1 draw with Trafford which was very annoying and we beat them 4-2 in uh, in extra time we beat uh, North Ferriby 4-0 in that match a 3-2 win over Northwich before beating Haybridge 2 0 in the FA Cup. A 4 0 win over. <coughs> Stupid boy. <laughs> a 3 1 win over Oxford City. Then a 5 0 hammering of Colwyn Bay. So we then follow that up with a 4 1 win at Redditch and a 2 0 win at Corby in the uh, fourth round qualifier a 2-1 win at Hensford a 3-1 win at Rushall a 2 no win against Neaton uh, then we suffered our first defeat this season 5-2 against Luton in the FA Cup we lost 1-0 to Southport and we beat New Mills 1-0 in the Fee Trophy and own goal by lots of things. We then beat Alfredton 3 0. Uh, we beat Boston United 5 1 in the first round proper of the trophy. We do 1 1 with Barrow. And last time out in the league, we hammered Geisley 6 1. But then we got beat 2-1 by Newport in the uh, trophy. So two defeats in all competitions. Sorry. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, two defeats in all competitions this season. And we're going to show you the Tamworth at home game. So we are top of the league by quite some distance at the moment. Method to fill Rushall 
and Gijni down the bottom. Uh, Lincoln went up, didn't they, last season, I think, if I remember right. Let's have a look where Lincoln are. Hartlepool top of the Prem, Squirrel Prem. Lincoln 10th in the Squirrel Prem now. Doing well under Nicky Forster. Luton went up, and they're bottom of the league. <laughs> so they're struggling now. They walked the conference last year, but they're struggling now. Ebb's fleet doing well in the uh, League 2. League 1. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. QPR struggling again. Um, Charlton down the bottom. Leeds struggling. Championship. Doncaster Barnsley Brighton at the bottom. Da -da -da. MK Dons are up there now. Um, Brentford top of the league. Uh, Man United leading, Peterborough bottom, South End and Hull. Nobody surprised. Norwich in fourth, bit of a shot there. Tottenham mid table. So not not a massive amount of shocks going on there. Let's just have a look at the South, shall we? Maidstone and Welling at the top. Oh, White Hawk struggling. That's a shame. But uh, yeah, so. You know, it's not too much out of place, really. Obi Umbar doing sensationally. Mike Scott's had a good season so far for us, so uh, hopefully they can carry that on. Today we face Tam Worth, who we beat on the opening day by four goals to one, I think it was. Considering I've only just showed you. Oh, I've got a sorry. I'm so tired. I've got a meeting in a bit as well. I've got to head off for a meeting, which sucks. I met Ian Bennett um, the other day, goalkeeper. He was down at Crew having a bit of a chat to the management staff about joining. So, uh, as a player coach, so that could be very, very interesting indeed. We've gone with a few more youngsters this season. Um, we've got Wes Lynch, uh, who came through the youth ranks. Oh, we've got Kendrick was there last season. He was there last season. Um, Doyle was. We've got Brightwell. I think he played towards the end of last season, possibly. And we've got Riley. Who, uh, who's been playing as well so we've got a few of the younger lads knocking the boot team looks fine to me that was fine to me we'll go with that for now so will we be able to continue the run this will be the test because it's on video and we all know that my team just go to pop when I do videos most of the time so uh, we'll see if that continues today. And just check that it's on uh, key highlights because the other day it changed to extended. But yeah, we are on key. So let's see what we've got in store today. We didn't quite well because we've been playing badly. We've still been picking up wins, so and draws, which is good. Always great to see. Go on, Sungu Umbar goal. Get in. Ten minutes in, Umbar has scored. Umbar. Sungu. Oh, Cameron Belford out to get that. Oh no no no! Good save, Breeden. I've I've really enjoyed this season. Not only because we've been winning so much, but at times the football we've played has been just amazing. Oh Scott, you pillar! Goal coming! Oh god, maybe not. Maybe not. Time for the snuffling. It's hay fever season. My tablets, oh, oh man, what a crap shot. My tablets are working very well. I just every now and again get a bit of a 
bit of a sniffle and a bit of a sore throat but it's a massive difference uh oh <sighs> they should be th they should be at least three one up by now uh it's a, a massive difference compared to how i would be without them i wouldn't be able to do these videos without them i wouldn't be able to do any videos thanks to those by the way who've gone over and checked out my other channel which is in the uh description on my twitter page um really appreciate it there, there are some oh brilliant save again there are some entertaining things on there i've started doing vlogs and i'm doing a thing which is called the thursday thought which uh is that's my chair by the way which is um like cartoony looks at things Ooh, so close. So close. the first one was about cat food <laughs> which went down very well it was uh, thought of as very funny by a lot, quite a few people and the second one was about the uh, oh the goal oh the goal uh, was about the ugly duckling so you know I'm trying to do other things on that channel this channel is purely uh, FM. Uh oh. Oh gosh. See, I told you, you guys come along, <laughs> and my league record is about to go out the window. It's all your fault, <laughs> Bembo. Get in there. And um, Big Dan can come off for Louis, Louis, Louis. Let's see if that does anything. But one thing I did want to talk to you about is my Twitter page. Now, there are some. Go on. Yeah, get in. Taylor comes on, makes an instant impact, setting up Umbar for his second goal. Um, there are some misguided fools that have stopped following me because I am uh, tweeting about my other channel now forgive me if I'm wrong but my Twitter page is my Twitter page and if I've got two YouTube channels I shouldn't have to set up one for each channel because that's just ridiculous so I will be tweeting about my other channel as well as this one. A 2 2 draw, it's not bad considering we went behind. I'll calmly tell them they were unlucky. Um, so I will be tweeting about the other channel. I will be changing the channel arts as well to, uh, you know, a more neutral one. But don't worry, it doesn't mean that I'm going to step away from doing the FM videos. FM is my thing, FM is my passion. I just really enjoy doing the other videos as well. And you know, I've purposely put them on another channel so that you know you don't get spammed in your sub box by videos you don't want to see, but you know, it's it's just a thing. I want to do these other videos as well as these and you know, it's what makes me happy. So if people want to unsubscribe and unfollow then I'm sorry to lose you but you know it's uh, you know it's, it's, it's what I want to do I want to do these and I want to do the other ones um, and I want both fan bases you know I want you guys to stick around and enjoy the FM content and I want the other guys to stick around and enjoy that content you know and I'd be so grateful if you guys would go over and sub on that as well and watch my vlogs and watch my Thursday thought videos and you know watch other stuff that I'm doing but you don't have to don't think oh because I'm not going to subscribe to that I'm going to unfollow him and I'm going to unsubscribe on this channel don't do that don't be silly boys and girls just just join the journey that's my motto join the journey you know I'm going places to different directions football manager other stuff both journeys have entertainment both journeys have things you'll like both journeys have things you won't like but don't just dismiss it don't just dismiss it I mean, one of my minecraft videos has got 15,000 views or 14,000 views something like that 14 15,000 views 
So I must be doing something. I mean, the others haven't. That one and another one are in the thousands, but the others are still in the like, you know, between 15 and 200 or something like that. So I'm not perfecting it, but you guys may go over there. You might not like Minecraft, but you might just want something in the background to watch. That's fine. Don't feel that you have to watch it. Don't have to put likes down if you didn't enjoy it particularly. You know, you don't have to comment. You just just do what you want to do, but don't write it off. I beg you. Now, I'm sorry I've had to bring up the other channel in this video. I don't like doing that, but you know, it's the only way I could talk to you guys about it without you, you know, without having to direct you over there. So we've had a nice little 2-2 draw with Tamworth which at 21 games unbeaten that's ridiculous so we might as well do Brackley at home as well so we'll just get that out of the way and then that will be that for today because I've got a meeting to get to marvellous Umbar certainly is I quite like the look of this lad when I played against Haybridge he's not brilliant but you know I like I like you know me I like buying those play. I have to buy what's within my means so you know and there's not a lot within my means <laughs> at the minute so I just have to take what I can get and work with them and do the best I can with them offers made I'd like to I really want to bring this guy to the club Okay. I'm not going to go into that now. Actually, no, I am. These turns are acceptable. Ooh, so you've gone from, no, I'm not joining you, to, ooh, I like your idea of playing for you. Um, Lewis Young, Ashley Young's brother, a bit of uh, exposure to the club. Let's hit the quick pickers here, you throw in. Carl Martin, yes, yes. Logan, you're going to have to come out, mate, because you are creamy card. Why are you down there? Get in there. Um, mm, Brightwell. You know, and that's fine, and that's fine. Scott's on the bench because he's a bit pooped. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Pretty good to me. I don't know how to put Lynchy on the bench, though. Yeah, let's give Scott a rest. And give Lynch the bench. Right. Let's see how we get on against these. Hopefully we'll do a bit better than we did against Tamworth. 13 points clear at the minute, but that gap in this division is easily closed. Easily closed. So hopefully... We can just separate ourselves from them a little bit. That'd be sweet. Wow. <laughs> What's happening here? Not. Half time of that highlight apart from the kickoff? Yes. Wow. I I know how to spoil you guys. I know how to spoil you guys in the face. Oh, I've also changed the assistant manager. I can't remember if I told you, so I'll show you. Oh man, what the hell was that, Artel? I think he's a bit knackered. Oh, lucky Daly. Lucky. Artel's coming off. I mean, he's old, but. Oh god, what was that? He's old, but he should be able to still keep up, for God's sake. Oh, I'm going to have to put. Doyle lad, you've played in defence before. And uh, let's bring Bisungu off for Taylor again. See if that does anything. Did last time, didn't it? Monty. Not been as prolific this season for us, Monty, but uh, still a very, very, very valuable player. Uh oh. Uh oh. Goal. God damn it. God damn it, straight to hell. That really sucks. Really, really sucks. 
we're going to lose. First time in the league this season, we're going to lose. I told you you'd see us lose. You all come on here with your bloody faces. <laughs> no, it, was, it had to happen at some point. It's a shame. Well done, Brackley, for ending our unbeaten streak. Uh, assertive, simply put one good enough. That's a shame we've ended our unbeaten run, but never mind. Never mind. These things happen. So, guys, thank you for watching. I'm just going to quickly show you before we go um, the change staff wise in case it wasn't the season a good cheer for us, you prat. Um, change of staff Danny O'Donnell is now my um, assistant manager former crew defender come on former crew defender he's got good defending training good mental stuff so you know and he's he's quite a decent all rounder we got rid of the old chap because he was too negative always with the moaning so we uh, we got rid of him as I shall show you so we got John Noonan, Noonan. he came in as a fitness coach because he didn't have one Chris Truman left and David Graves left he was good working with youngsters but he was just a mardy bum so <laughs> Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, um, please drop a like if you enjoyed it. Once again, sorry about having to have that discussion about the other channel and Twitter and stuff, but I needed to speak to you about it and that was the best way. So thank you for listening through that and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.